Right. Ah, cool. All right. All operational for now. Now, how do I... Okay, cool. All right. Hey, guys, it's Bill Rapier here from uh, VAC Works. So I'm going to start doing a lot more of this. What is this? Well, this is a bunch of uh, online marketing training for local businesses. Uh, this series is for retailers, although it applies to service-based businesses as well as tradesmen. So if you fall under any of those categories, everything I'm going to show you applies to what you do as well. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So today's example, as I mentioned, is uh, furniture stores, hence the, the, the background. And uh, what I want to do is show you where all the opportunities are online for a business. See, most of, most of the, the retailers that I've spoken to, most of the businesses that I've spoken to, both at a, a very high uh, uh, household name, corporate level, through to local businesses, everybody uh, has varying different perspectives on what they um, believe to be available to them as a business. So I'm kind of going to just cut through some of, some of the mess, uh, trim a lot of the fat off and get straight to the point and show you where the opportunities lay and how you can take advantage of that for your businesses. So I just want you, I just want to give you some, some perspective around the mindset. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to start from the, from the top down in terms of both the, the niche or the industry space and then um, how the, uh, the searcher, i.e. somebody who's pulling out a mobile device, so it's either a smartphone or on the iPads, or on their um, laptops or on their desktop computers. So everything I'm about to show you applies to all of those devices. So it it's crosses all of those um, devices. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how people use these devices to search for your products and services. Now, every time I go through this process, through uh, through this, this in-depth process with a business, this is the surface layer stuff but it's more than enough to actually get you significant results if you apply what, I, what I'm teaching. Uh, and, and that's the biggest thing. So most people get, we're living in an age where we get all this information and we keep seeking more and more information, but we're not good at implementing the information. And part of that is typically perhaps a twofold um, problem to that is one that, you know, we um, we don't know how to go about that process. So we might have all this information, but we don't know how to go about that process. And uh, or, and all the second one is, you know, um, you know, we 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 we, uh, we try to do it ourselves. Actually, maybe you don't even have the resources in house resources to do it. Um, so you put it in the too hard basket, or maybe you have a, an internal team that you work with. And it's still too, you know, comes across as being too technically challenging or tricky or whatever the case may be. And maybe there's a couple of other things I'm not thinking of right now. But but what I want to do is I want to demystify some of the stuff. And I want to show you how people use these devices. And I'm using Taranaki as my location because I live in Taranaki. I was in Auckland as well, but I'm residing in Taranaki right now. Until after Christmas, sometime. Anyway, so without further ado, let's dive in. Let's take a look at what people are searching for in terms of furniture store. Because every time I do this process, as I started to mention earlier on, there's always untapped uh, income streams that, that pop up in the conversation. So when I go through this process with a business, we find more untapped revenue streams for a business. So the aspects of your business that you didn't realize people are looking for online that you're not actually uh, taking advantage of with your, your online assets. So an online asset for clarification will be your website. It'll be your social media assets. It'll be your um, uh, you know, places like Facebook, YouTube, um, TikTok, um, Google My Business, and that's the primary function of what I'm going to be talking about today. This is the, the, the primary topic of this discussion is how to use Google My Business to generate uh, ongoing uh, leads, calls, foot traffic, 
um, website visitors, filling out forms, calling to, to collect coupon, you know, and other specials and deals or whatever it is you might have going on. So let's actually dive in. So I'm going to share my screen now. Hopefully this does not go a little bit crazy. Share screen. Cool. All right. Just clicking this. And this is this one. Actually, do I do it from the tab? Hopefully, I might have to share it from the tab. Let's go from here. So what I've done is I've saved a little bit of time. And uh, I've, I had already sort of gone through this. So this is the Google Keyword Planner, and it's free to uh, to anyone. You just have a, you know, as long as you've got a Google account, you can come here and get an idea. So on the left hand, on, up the top here, we have what's called the keywords. And these are what we call, you know, these are just semantic variations. So furniture stores is one keyword, and furniture store is considered a separate keyword. Okay, and uh, also I have selected the location here as, uh, as you can see, this is in New Plymouth, cancel that. And then what it does is it gives us the, the, the keywords that we would put in. And then uh, it will also give you some suggested keywords. See furniture retailers, actually I can add that, click get results. It's going to add that to the, the list. Um, furniture outlet. So whatever the keywords are, are most relevant to a business will go through and go through this process. So then left-hand side, you've got the keywords. And under the next column, you've got the average monthly searches. So if you're running ads, then you'll get um, uh, a more definitive closer number to the, to the actual number. But this is more than enough to give you um, perspective uh, on what's available for your business. And then Google gives us keyword ideas. Uh, it'll, it shows us here, this is what people are typing into Google relevant to those keywords that are up in the gray box up the top here. And then so what I do is I typically you know, would go through and refine that sort of stuff. And then over here on the right-hand side, you can click to, to download that file. So if you click that, you can click to download that CSV file, right? The comma separated values uh, file, or you can save it in your Google Sheets and your Google Drive if you like. But I've already gone ahead and done that anyway. And I've, I've filtered it by average monthly searches. So just for this region, again, this is just for the region that, that I'm living in that there are an average monthly uh, search amount for that just that one term, a furniture store. Notice it, different, it differs to what I, I had there earlier on, which was, oh, wrong, 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 wrong. It's not text. Um, so it's 500 monthly searches for that term. So if you're a furniture store outlet, that's how many people locally, for example, just here in Taranaki, are searching for that, 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 that term. So I showed you here. So it's just in Taranaki. Hopefully I've got the sharing the right... Actually, I don't think it is. Uh, view tab. Let me share a different tab. I don't think I showed you. I don't think it was sharing. Okay, so now I'd be sharing this, hopefully. So on the left hand side, there's the furniture store highlighted in yellow. And the average monthly searches in the second column there, which is uh, 500 average monthly searches. So your website or your Google My Business listing, if, if your primary uh, site is set up to 
get found for furniture stores, there's a mess at the end there, then you're missing out on uh, more opportunities than what there is um, because, as I said, uh, you could see on the other one it showed that there was a uh, uh, furniture, yeah, furniture stores is 10 to 100 a month. This is saying, you know, the average is 500 a month for store, furniture store. So obviously, thinking from the top down, from somebody pulling out the mobile device and they type in the furniture store um, or furniture stores, you want to get found for furniture store as opposed to furniture stores. That's, that is the point I'm making with that. But as we go down through this column, you'll start to see there's, there's other terms here that you know we may not have thought of as a business. Right? Maybe you sell office furniture as well. So, you know, office furniture would be uh, another term that you'd want to get your business found for, and that would add an additional 50 searches uh, per month if you can get in front of um, and it, uh, if you get your website set up and you Google My Business set up correctly, you can get in front of another another 50 opportunities a month. So imagine as you go down through the list and you collect words that are semantically relevant for your business. See, furniture retailers would be another one, for example. And I'm just going to grab a few here just to illustrate my point. So it's gone from 500 up to 600 opportunities now. So if, imagine if you can get in front of an additional 600 people per month for your business. 600. <laughs> That's just likely here. If you can get, a, get in front of an additional 600 people per month, what is, what is the value to your business to get in front of another 600 people? So think about where you are now, right? How do you get in front of another 600 people? Well, you can get your website and you can get your Google My Business in front of these people. And I suggest that you skip the website and go straight to Google My Business. It's the fastest way to get results. I've been doing this for years. I've been on the front page of Google for years for a search engine optimization agency. Uh, and I ruled the roost nonstop two years. And I had seven, uh, seven assets on page one for uh, several years. And it was, I think, the most I had on one page at the time was uh, seven or eight. So if you imagine you're you know, looking for SEO agency or any of the terms that might be valuable for me as an agency, the whole entire page that came up practically was my business. Anyway, so imagine getting in front of an extra 600 people. And it doesn't mean that you're going to sell 600 more people your products. What it does mean is that if you can get in front of 600 people, obviously there's going to be a lot more because, you know, you know, if you can get in front of this one down here, uh, best furniture stores, best furniture shops, um, you know, the more you get in front of those search terms, the more you're going to create more opportunity. So, for example, if you get into the front of uh, the front page of Google, let's see if I can, I'm going to share, open another tab. I don't know how this, uh, hopefully, I haven't used um, a StreamYard live before, so, you know, hopefully... I must be doing it right, surely. Yeah, well. So to give you an idea, so if I take type in furniture, furniture stores, right. Um, up the top here, you've got ads on the left hand side because they've got ad and you know the black writing there. We'd add, they're all paying, all these businesses are paying Big Save, Treasure Box, iFurniture, and Target Furniture. They'll, they will understand or whoever's doing the advertising for them, that's paid advertising, understands that uh, furniture stores is a word that they want to get in front of. So, if, you know, I could be somebody who's looking to buy, I'm in the market to buy furniture, I pull out my mobile device, my desktop computer, my laptop, my iPad, whatever it is, and I type in furniture stores. Now, that's not, uh, that's uh, only one of, you know, the several keywords that, you know, a bunch of keywords that people type in to look for. 
So they type that in, and then what happens is Google is saying, well, there's about, uh, you know, that many results. <laughs> I say 1 billion, 190 million uh, web pages that have these terms. And uh, these businesses are, are paying to get in front of uh, all the people who are the 500 people a month locally who are looking for this term. There's a map. And then we have, this is, this is the prime real estate on the front of the, what we call the SERPs or the search engine result pages. Not the front page of Google, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So these three businesses here are the ones who are getting opportunities right here for that term furniture stores. So they're getting uh, the opportunity to get in front of those 500 people. So this top listing here typically would get about 44 to 49% of all those clicks. So let's just say 50% just for, for numbers. So they would get the opportunity to get 250 clicks. Now, th there's more to it than that. So we, we want to talk about reviews. They influence what we call the CTR or the click-through rate of somebody you know, clicking through to go and find more information or to you know, see if they can buy it online or whatever the case may be. But there's only three positions here, as you can see. And if I click down here, it's got view all. So I want to click view all. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see all the competition who are trying to get in front of, uh, who, are, who are all furniture stores competing for those three positions. So there's one, two, there's about, usually about 16 or 20, I think, on this page. One or 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20. 20, and there's 10 pages deep so far. I hope that sort of dropped a bit of a bit of a, an epiphany moment for you. So th th just on that page alone, there's 20 businesses. Okay. 20 businesses. In fact, 17 businesses, because three of them were these businesses. So there's 17 businesses who cannot get in front of these people who are looking for furniture stores so again i want you just to imagine for a moment you sell furniture whatever you know you can be a service-based industry again you know i said this at the beginning of this video you can be a retailer a tradesman or a service-based industry uh, same logic applies so to get in front of that search term which we displayed as 500 just for that one word there's three businesses out of 20 just on that one page who are right now only these three businesses who are getting that opportunity uh, uh, to get in front of the people who are looking for furniture stores again this top listing gets about uh, 43 44 to up to about 46 maybe 49 percent of the clicks and that you know uh, regardless and you know, about even we said 40 percent you know that's, that's still a lot right so that's a lot of opportunity for those businesses but then what happens next is also an integral part of the journey um you know when somebody for example clicks through this you can see that one's actually closed for whatever reason um this one's closed that's probably because it's after five o'clock um this one doesn't have a website what about this one this one has a website let's go and See, that top one's missed out on opportunity. If I was looking to buy something, maybe I've just missed out on an opportunity. I've come here and, and you know, we can talk about, uh, I'll probably do another video where we can talk about how, how to create a, a, a better customer journey for people. So when people have searched for this term, let's just say I'm quite an eager buyer, right? I, I want to buy some new furniture, I've looked through here, I've gone through this process, and I decide I like this one here. What happens next is, integ is an integral part of the journey for the customer journey, right? So when I click website, I'm looking for furniture. When I look at this page, I'm thinking, okay, uh, okay, it's taking a while to load, there we go. It's got free delivery, okay, then maybe that's appealing to me. Okay. Now, ideally, you want to set up 
uh, what we call a landing page here for that for that term. It's a completely different topic beyond the scope of this video, um, but I would I would go into depth with that in uh, the free audits which you can uh, get, which I'll show you shortly. You know what it was supposed to be doing. All righty. Shift F7. I didn't realize that was the deal. Hmm. Not Shift F7 on a Mac? It could go all haywire. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Let me go out of here before I do. So that's, that's uh, again, you know, it's five opportunities. 500 opportunities, there's 20 business, well, 20 businesses just on the first page if we expand all the Google My Business listings. Um, and out of those 20, these three, there's only three who are displayed. So this, those businesses, that's exactly where you want to be. You want to be one of these three businesses without exception for all your primary, uh, what we call primary search terms. Furniture retailers, furniture store, you know, furniture outlet, you know, whatever, whatever words, uh, you know, relevant. Look at this one, buy furniture online. Oh my gosh, that's a fantastic keyword. There's 50 people uh, locally looking for that. That's a buying search term if ever I found one. Let's check that and buy furniture online. Here comes up. So we've got some ads. Bestfurniture.co.nz. See, all of these websites, these, these are what we call the organic listing. So all these websites here, are, uh, you know, th there's no paid advertising that can get you there. Uh, we use search engine optimization to get you there. That's uh, another story. But that's what all of, all of what we do is based around to get uh, clients in front of their ideal demographic terms like this, buy furniture online. Anyway, I don't even know if that's shown because I can see that this little blue script top here as I say, this tab's content is being shared. Okay, well, there we go. Anyway, so uh, that's all I want to show you is that uh, if, you, so if you're so if you a furniture store retailer, then, um, you know, just locally here, just for that term, furniture, furniture store gets 500 searches a month. And uh, that's a, a lot of opportunity to turn over, you know, uh, to clear stock before Christmas. That's probably a little bit late almost now, I mean, only a week to go or whatever, but um, what I suggest you do is use the Google My Business posting feature, and that, how do I display me? How do I get rid of this? Ah, me again. I don't know what's going on around here. There we go. Um, so anyway, uh, if I go out of that, it's a full screen because I just don't want to quit anything. I don't want anything to go wrong. But uh, right now, I'm offering uh, some free audits. So you could be a furniture store retailer, any any retailer at all. You could be retail. Again, you could be in the service sector. You can be a, a tradesman. Everything I've talked about today is applicable to you. And there's much more to this process that I go through the audit. I take you through uh, your own website and your own online assets, again, social media stuff and that as well, and see how it's all connected and see how it's all pointing. And we, we talk about the we talk about who your ideal demographic customer is and we, we talk about how you move, you know, what is the what is the process like for them? So when they search in Google and then what is that customer journey like for them? So what does it look like when they search for it? What happens? Um, in the search engines, what does Google return? Are you there? Are you an even an option to do business with? If not, then obviously you know we, that's something significant. You need to think. You know, you, uh, you need to have a discussion around how that's how to make that happen. And if you are there, do you have the right things in place? Do you have the right words in place? Do you have the right uh, what we call call to action so you can get people through to actually you know click through to your website or through to your Google My Business? Um, are you using all Google's features so that you can advertise for free online? 
and uh, uh, and then where do people go once they click through from either your website or on your Google My Business, on any of your po posts in Google My Business? What happens when they click that? Where are they going? What does it look like for them when they get there? Does it meet the objective of, um, you know, uh, do you even have any goals here, pages? You know, and is there, uh, you know, are you resolving the expectation of the end user? So when they get there, is it, is it, easy and effortless for them to go from point A to point B, you know. So you want to make a, a smooth journey for them as they search for the things that they want to buy. You want to make the process easy for them. See, Google's already done it for you. They've made it really easy to return that result for you. But the next part of the journey is up to you. So you've got to have the right language that you're speaking to your ideal demographic um, and that also that the products or services that you're promoting or selling is also the right products and services that they expect to see and that the architecture on the web page is right when they get there as well. So there's a psychology uh, to the pages when they get there. We call that typically a landing page, not in every case for every keyword, but most certainly for your, for your primary um, money terms, which we, we can go about, you know, have that discussion on your free order as well, which you can you can see that's down there right there. Book a free growth call uh, with my GMB auditor. It's only on a Tuesday at the moment. I'm not doing any more than that. So if you want to get in, get in quick, or it could, uh, you know, whether free for however long I decide that I want to do that. Um, my prices are going up significantly. Um, uh, and so they should. Um, so you can see there's a lot of opportunity for. Uh, furniture stores locally even still in this climate even though people uh, you know there's a lot of um, uncertainty everywhere there's a lot of um, legislative restrictions around things so there's a certain type of demographic that uh, have uh, been um, life has been made a little bit more difficult for them to get access to things um, so you can also tap into serving them and therefore, uh, uh, you know, creating more opportunity for your business as well. So anyway, if you want to have a discussion about all this stuff, you can find me right below, right there, and uh, book that and I uh, look forward to having a chat with you. I love, I love, absolutely love hearing about uh, uh, people's businesses and what they do and I get excited uh, with people as they, they talk about you know, um, as we start to talk about what the, the, the opportunities are and as they kind of unfold throughout our, our series of discussions, uh, that creates ongoing opportunity for them and they can sit, start to see, oh my gosh, you know, there's, there's a, a new income stream here, there's a new one here, or this, oh, we can do this, or we can bring this part of our business here, and all these kinds of things. It's incredibly exciting. So that's why I really typically like to call myself a customer journey architect. But anyway, uh, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to do more, a lot more of these. I'm just going to keep picking different businesses and show where opportunities are and talk about the same stuff over and over again so that you guys really understand how, uh, at a fundamental level, how Google works and how you can make it work for your business. All right, take care. See you later. Bye.